you cannot reason with the narcissist. Narcissists often target people who use good sense and sound judgment in practical matters. If you use common sense, if you use logic or reasoning, you can become a target for abuse. The narcissist prefers it when you use logic or reasoning to try to figure out what they are doing because they know that it's not going to make sense. It's not meant to make sense. Everything that they are doing is only intended to mess with your mind and cause you to obsess over what they are doing. It is intended to preoccupy or fill your mind continually and to a troubling extent where you are constantly talking or worrying about them and what they are doing to you. It is intended to make you overanalyze the situation and examine them methodically and in detail in an attempt to explain and interpret it. When you try to use logic or reasoning with a narcissist, it only creates more confusion or uncertainty. The narcissist exists in your ability to think and reason. They exist in your way of thinking because it is influenced by your environment. They exist in what you regard to be important, in what you feel concerned about, in what you pay attention to which is influenced by your environment. They know how to control and influence your thoughts. They know how to change your way of thinking so that you do not become aware or conscious of something. So that you do not realize or understand, come to an opinion about something or have a belief about something interpret or regard them in a particular way. It keeps you looking at yourself and wondering if there is something wrong with you or if it is something that you are doing which is causing them to act in this way. You try to use logic or reasoning. You try to make sense out of it, which only leaves you even more confused. And this is what their behavior is intended to do. Instead of using logic or reasoning to figure out what the narcissist is doing, pay attention to your intuition, your ability to understand something instinctively, rather than trying to use conscious reasoning. Pay attention to what you know or consider to be likely from your instinctive feeling. When you try to make sense out of how the narcissist is making you feel or what they are displaying to you, it is only going to leave you even more confused. And that is what they want you to do. They want you to try to make sense out of what they are doing, how they are making you feel or what they are displaying to you. They want you to mentally struggle to achieve or resist something from them. They want you to engage in a fight or struggle against them. Because that is their idea of fun. They enjoy arguments and disagreements. Their mind is constantly telling them that they're worthless and insignificant. They're not enough. And when you present yourself to them, and you're trying to figure out what they're doing with logical reasoning, it just gives them the opportunity to project their emotions onto you. Because that's all they're really doing when you interact or engage with them. They don't use logic or reasoning. They only act on their out of control, unstable emotions. They only react to you 
based off their feelings of hatred, anger, envy and jealousy. And they create this mental fight with you in an attempt to regulate these emotions and their self-worth, self-esteem and self-importance. Which is why when you give your attention and consideration to these mental fights, it's not going to make any sense. You are not going to be able to maintain a realistic attitude to the situation or problem. It will only be providing them with amusement or enjoyment and they will be using you, exploiting you, to give them a moment of distraction from their true feelings of worthlessness and insignificance while it only leaves you feeling even more confused. This is why you should never use logic or reasoning with a narcissist. Instead, you should pay attention to your intuition. Pay attention to what you know or consider to be likely from your instinctive feeling. They want you to overthink. They want you to overanalyze. It gives them attention. It gives them your energy. That's what they want. If you are thinking about them, you are giving them attention. And if you are giving them attention, you are giving them your energy. They know how to make you think. They know how to make you analyze the situation. And they know that certain things are going to make you think or analyze more than usual. They know that it's going to create more of an opportunity for them to get your attention and extract energy from you. They cannot produce the energy on their own. They have to get it from you. It has to be transferred from you. So they have to plan or coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect to then get you to focus your attention on them. To then transfer the energy from you. The more you try to reason with a narcissist, the more attention and consideration you are given to them. The more you are preventing your desired aim or result from being achieved. You are playing their game and being sucked into their world through overthinking and overanalyzing. This is what creates the confusion. You are trying to make sense out of nonsense. You are trying to make sense out of things that have no meaning. Foolish or unacceptable behavior based on out of control, unstable emotions which have no logical explanation. Instead of trying to use logic or reasoning with a narcissist, pay attention to your intuition. Pay attention to your instinctive feeling of what you know or consider to be likely. How do you feel? Does the situation feel morally good, justified or acceptable? Does it feel like something that would be desired or approved of? Does it feel like something that has the required qualities? Does it feel like something that is going to have a positive outcome or result? Pay attention to your intuition and you will find that you already have the answers within you. When you are with a narcissist, they shut off your intuition. They turn you into a person that overthinks, overanalyzes. You are only thinking or reacting to what they are doing, rather than reflecting on your own thoughts or feelings. You lose touch with yourself and your own beliefs, values and opinions. They turn you into someone who acts without careful consideration of what will be necessary or of what may happen in the future. Someone who acts without conscious thought, idea or opinion. And this is how they use your reasoning against you. This is how they use your action of thinking 
about something in a logical, sensible way against you. This is how they cause your mind to believe something that is not true for their personal gain. This is how they give you a mistaken impression. But if you pay attention to your intuition, it will give you the answers. It will reveal the truth. It will give you closure. It will give you a sense of resolution or conclusion and a feeling that the emotional or traumatic experience has been resolved. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal links in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at nagsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Narcs Forever store where you can purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.